This is your 2009 Honda S2000 CR. What's going on guys, it is your boy Dan and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a drift build on the car you can see on the screen as the Honda S2000. So, this is the first episode of on Forza 5. And um, I don't think I'm going to do very, very many more on Forza 5 because Horizon 2 is just around the corner, so I'm going to save all the builds for that game. So I'm only doing a few while the account is still currently banned from playing other games because of GTA 5 mining glitches. So let's hop straight into the customization, and then we'll work on the paint and the tune a bit later on. So we've got quite a bit of money to work with right now. Now let's have a look. I'm just going to... I know... Not many people like all-wheel drive drift train shift tunes, but whatever. Um, I like now. Um, do I either keep the stock engine or swap it for a V8 or a V6? You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna uh, let's just think. Stick the V6 in. We'll, stick, we'll do that. So we are currently rocking. 332 brake horsepower, okay. Right. Um, twin turbo. Let's do it. 434 brake. I want this car to have around, I don't know, 700 or something. Um, I don't think, to be honest, I'm going to do anything with the body. That wing just looks stupid. No, I, I wish you could take the wing off that thing, but you can't, so. Right, tyre compound, always street for drifting, always, front tyre width I always do it just the first one, and then the rear tyre width I always max out just for the max grip at the back, now for rims let's see what we can have, any I'm feeling those, they're not nice. What are they? Optimize, okay. Right. Oh, I'm feeling those. I'm gonna go with these goldens right here. The Koenig, so let's stick those bad boys on. I'm just gonna upgrade the, oops. Uh, the size by one or two. That looks fine. 18 inch, whatever. Them. Same on the rear. 18. Now, at the time making this video, I'm currently waiting for a game to arrive. I ordered it on Amazon uh, two days ago. Yeah, two days something like that. Um, and I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's called Import Tuna Challenge. And it's a, it's a really old game. It's back from 2006. Um, but the game is insane, like, it is so good, it looks amazing, I've watched so many videos on it, and I've never had the game before, but I've played it somewhere, and I can't remember where I played it, it was ages ago, but it was just so much fun, and I never, like, when I played it, I never knew what it was called, because it was, like, in a game, so, oh shit, it was, like, a game place or something, I don't know. That looks pretty nice slammed, I'm not gonna lie. And these rims and the blue paint, I'm like, I'm, I'm feeling that life right now. I'm not gonna bother with any roll bars, stuff like that. Bollocks. Um, I will add a roll cage though. Should I go with a full roll cage? We'll do it, let's do it. Um, fully weight reduction as always. Right. Now just the engine. No, um, might max this out. Might completely just max out the car, to be honest. It's really an S class. If I can get it to about an R class or a high S class, that'd be alright, to be honest. So then, as soon as we've done this, we'll go do the tune, and then once the tune is done, we'll um, have a look at some paint. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be allowed on the paint store, considering this profile is banned online. Uh, until the 30th, I've got no idea what the date is today. 
That is the two, um, 17th today. Is it 17th? No, it's 24th today. Oh, we're behind, bro. Right, well. Yep, this car's gonna be an R class, nice. I'm rocking some serious power in here. 828 brake. And I'm still getting the cooler to go. Right, so we are sitting on 700, no, 875 brake horsepower, which is gonna be insane. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> Note 60 time 2.2 and a top speed of 221. Um, 616 feet of torque. Wow. And uh, this. 4.1 litre. So that's that done. Let's go test. Test tune. Test tune. Right. I always need the tire pressure. Don't bother with that just yet. Right. Camber. Um, about there. I'm just going to mess about with this tune and see how it goes. Uh, stiffen up the roll bars. Oh, I can't do any. Oh no, I can't because I didn't put. Uh, just soften the springs a little bit. The front and just harden the rear. Lower the car completely. Rebound stiffness will be added just a little bit. Bump stiffness to 7.5. That should be good. Uh, Braking's fine. I'll knock this down to about 20%. And put this up to 100 on both ways because it doesn't really matter to be honest. And we'll up the centre balance to 70. So that should be good. Now we'll apply that and give it a test in a second. We're just going to go back all the way to the paint shop and see if there's any, if I can get any designs. Now how do I do that? Find new designs. Is it going to connect? Is it going to connect? Is it going to connect? Yes, it is. Nice. Sweet. Um, any Fast and Furious designs here? Any any Suki designs? Any of the pink? Um, that's 2000. No, is that Spoon? Spoon Racing? It's pretty just <coughs> That's a fail. Uh, could go with Johnny Tran. Um, yeah, I'll go with Johnny Tran's. That looks pretty sick anyway. We'll go with that one. Oh, that looks sick on this car, mate. That's absolutely insane. Yeah, we've got Johnny Trans S2K. Chilling right here. Uh, can I do a little scroll around? Yep, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Now I'm just going to hop in the car two secs. If I can... There we go. Alright, we'll start it up and see what she sounds like. Well, that was... Bit of, bit of a beast. <laughs> right, so we're going to head out of here of the Autoverse dirt and go to this thing for a spin. Dude, uh, right, which track should we go on? We'll go on, we'll go on the school circuit. Let's do it. So I'm going to do a couple of laps around here because this episode is cracking on a bit. Um... We're almost up to the 10 minute mark, so let's see what this car will do around the school circuit, Catalonia. Hopefully it's pretty sweet. Right. A V6 though. Let's go. Right. 
right. The gears might need sorting a little bit. Gear ratio. It's a little bit out for drifting. See what I mean? It's too... One and two are too short, and three's a bit too long. To be honest, I could probably just take this whole track in a second. Shift up for third for this one. Not bad. Not bad. So first, first tube. Right. Shift down and take. Actually, it's a, these gears feel alright now. Sliding out this bitch. Right. I hate the way this constantly records. Well, that was a bit off. Right, I'm gonna take a reverse entry on the last corner, I reckon. Well, I'll try to anyway. I don't know why I slowed down right there, but I just wanted to make sure I could connect these two corners together. Ah, oh, I know what I'm gonna do here, boys. Ready? I'm gonna get around here. Yeah, we're here. And 360s. Right, here we go. Let's go for the reverse entry. No, too much spin. Oh well, I'll take that 360. <laughs> that was nice. I'm gonna go for the reverse entry. Like that. That. Anyway guys, hope you guys you did enjoy this episode of um, the Force Flag Drift build using the Honda S2000 uh, with the Johnny Tran um, Fast and Furious design. So if you could guys hit that like button, it really does help me out. And don't forget guys, we're on the road to 50 subscribers. Time making this video, I'm on 49, so just we just need one more. And then there's one of my main goals for YouTube. So if it hope you guys did enjoy, and it's been your boy Dan, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care guys.